This next part of the Chobe is in a hidden lagoon of sorts. Although it's still part of Chobe's meandering waterways, this part of the river is lined by papyrus, marshes, and lily pads. This area is home to the African jacana. Known as Jesus birds, the African jacana uses its long legs and toes to glide across lily pads and aquatic plants. Because the weight is evenly distributed, jacanas can feed on insects on top of lilies before they begin to sink. In jacana society, parental duties are reversed. Females leave the males once the eggs are laid. Males then incubate the eggs and raise the chicks. Jacanas can be seen in sub-Saharan Africa. Their counts have remained stable for the past few years. On the next lily pad is the very skittish African swamp hen. The solitary and omnivorous bird feeds on insects, plants, and fish. Its weight is evenly distributed, so like the jacana, its long legs and toes allow it to glide over lily pads as if it were walking on water. Even more skittish than the swamp hen is the African pygmy goose. Most common in sub-Saharan Africa, Pygmy goose prefer to live in marshes and swamps, where they can be near vegetation like lily pads and water-dwelling plants. Although lilies top their menu selections, they also eat fish and insect larvae. 